Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 15 of my Moncton Navigators franchise here on East Coast Gaming. We are here at the start of year 4 and if you missed episode number 14 which was the year 4 off season, uh, well I'm just going to show you the lines real quick. Who are we rocking here for year number 4? So, on the first line, we have young prospect Shane Wright making his NHL debut this year. On a line with Sanford and Lazarev, that puts the chemistry up to plus five overall. That gives that line a plus five. On the second line, Perfetti, sadly, with the arrival of Wright, slides down to the second line with Costin and Pugliarvi. Uh, on the third line here, we tried to make a deal and we were hoping that that would fix our chemistry problems here, but it absolutely didn't. Uh, Gabe Bellardi and Grunstrom for Barbashev and Gauthier did not work out, but I mean, this is a good third line overall wise, so we're going to rock with it too. And on the fourth line is the grind line, Delorier, Paquette and Hathaway for a plus five. Defensively, we still have Sergeyev and Pareko on the top line, Bouchard and Hedman on the second line, and Taves and Philippe Myers. In net, Jacob Markstrom and Samuel Montembeau. It's been that combo now for a bit, so I'm quite excited to see how Shane Wright's going to do. And honestly, I mean, the, the first power play here looks ridiculous with Kostin, Perfetti, Sergeyev, Lazarev, and Sanford. So I'm expecting the... the I'm expecting the Navigators here to do quite well this year. Would that work? No. What if I put right on that power play? No, he doesn't really fit. All right. So let's let's start it up, shall we? We're going to play the Toronto Maple Leafs in our first game here of year number four. And they've already played a game and they've won it. So let's see if we can give them their first loss of the season year. All right, here we go. First period, no, no score after the first period. 12 to 11, the shots on goal. Let's go for the second period to Veritz. Still alive and kicking down there in Toronto and he scores on Jacob Markstrom. Are we gonna be able here to get one goal? Getting the shots. Are we getting the goals? 30 shots. We seem to be dominating this third period. Power play. Come on. Is that Freddie Anderson still in net there? Come on. Oh, that's Muzzin. Gets the insurance marker, and that's it. So that was a quick, was a quick sim to, to, to start the first, uh, to start the fourth season. Uh, let's see here if we can make some progress. Appleby's already injured, but it's just an injured arm. All right, it's all right. Uh, let's go here. Uh, we'll just simulate maybe 10, 10 or so games. 10 or so games. Let's simulate up to this divisional matchup against Montreal. All right. Oh, all right, perfect. Shane Wright, second half, second game of the season, broken nose. Oh, all right, so Payarvi. They don't like my grinders, man. They don't like the grinders at all. Um, no, no, no. Delorier can go up there. All right, so that's what we're gonna go with here for the next couple of games. That's essentially just getting a third rounder back. A 3-2 win. Appleby's good. Tierney and Bushnevich. No, I don't need that. Nashville here. That's a 2-0 win. All right. Ottawa. It's a 5-4 win. All right. This is looking good. This is looking good. A second and Moran for Jonathan Taze. He must have dropped off quite a bit if that's the price tag on him. 85 overall. Sadly, he doesn't fit anywhere but the first line. So, no to Johnny, Johnny Taze. Calgary against my favorite team. That's a loss, but we come right back with a win. I saw that Carolina had one of the nastiest lines as we win there against Chicago 
They have Kaner now, Patrick Kane. So they have Aho, Svechnikov, and Patrick Kane on the first line. Now, Kopitar and Hornfist, bottom six forwards. Uh, no, thank you. So five and two here. Shane Wright can come back probably with a full face shield, but uh, after that broken nose. But um, Hathaway down there. Hoglander up there. And Delorier down here. Did Wright even... Oh, yeah, he had an assist in two games. Is Lazarev doing good? Oh, I thought he had only one assist. Yeah, that's decent. He's going to catch fire soon. He's, Sanford's over a point per game. Oh, Costin. Ouch. Oh, that's second line. Second line hasn't found a chemistry yet. No, sir, they have not. And the third line, well, I mean, I mean, I'm not expecting them to produce insane numbers. So, all right, so the second line needs to wake up here. A 4 3 shootout win. Appleby and Engren for Tony D'Angelo. <laughs> uh, no, he's KHL bound soon. I don't want Tony D'Angelo. Vegas, who's terrible. So, a win against Vegas and a loss against Vancouver. A win against Florida. What else with Tierney and Bushnevich for three prospects? I mean, I don't want to screw up the chemistry here. So, a 3 2 shootout loss. A 4 3, 4 2 win, excuse me. New York, it's a good record. 3 0 loss. A 1 0 loss. And a 6 4 win. So, my division is ridiculously strong. Or the Eastern Conference in general must be ridiculously strong. I've got 21 points here, and I'm in a wild card position, I believe. Um, let's check now through 16 games. Perfetti leads the team in scoring with 15 points. I'm assuming Lazarev not far. Oh, ooh, that's not good. So Perfetti is 15. Velarde on the third line has 11. Bouchard has 11 on that line with Hedman, Sanford 10, Sergachev, Kostin. It looks like the second line caught fire and the first line just cooled off completely. Kostin, Lazarev, Grunstrom with 7 points, Payarvi, Hoglander, Paquette. Where is Shane Wright? Oh my goodness. It's been rough. I might have to change that. I might have to change that if it keeps going like that. Minus three. Lazarus a minus three. All right, so that's alarming. Maybe simulate like uh, five more games or so. We'll simulate like five games. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the Boston game here, another division rival. So Montreal, can we beat them? I think we beat them. Yeah, 3-2 shootout win. Josh Anderson, not the guy who plays for Montreal. Another Josh Anderson. Blue Jack is a fired head coach. Justin Williams, I guess Mr. Game 7 isn't as clutch on the bench as he was on the ice. Winnipeg here, that's a loss against Winnipeg. Tampa Bay, knocked us out of the playoff. They shut us out. Why are we getting shut out so much? 6-2 win. Oh, I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. How come this offense is not clicking? Did I put too much stock into the chemistry? 16-13. Lazarev has had a good couple of days, I believe. Shane Wright. Okay, he has had a good, yeah. Okay, he's had four points in four games now. I guess the team's just going to ride the waves, I guess. My goodness, this is, this is weird. I don't know what to make of this at all. Perfetti's a minus. Everybody's a minus. My top two lines. All right, well, we'll real-time sim this game against the Bruins. 3-0 right off the bat. That's what I like to see. Perfetti, Wright, and Lazarev. 
Oh my goodness, that was a good period. Second period, still 3-0. Third period, 5-1. So Marshan ruins the shutout here with uh, 321 remaining. But Pareiko and Grundstrom are able to put one past the three fall there. Three fall, I don't know how to spell that. All right. 17 points in 21 games. All right, once we real-time sim and we win, you know what? We keep going till we lose. Keep going till we lose. National Predators have fired head coach Jake Curry. Jake Curry. All right. Moncton. Oh, my goodness. 3-3 after the first. Lazarev Deloria on the fourth line and Clem Costin on Fran Coos. 4-4, Bouchard on the power play. 5-5, we're going to overtime after a Garnet Hathaway goal. My goodness. And we win in overtime, Evan Bouchard. Evan Bouchard is having quite the year. If there's one bright spot here early on, it's Evan Bouchard. So, another win means we keep on going here against Torts and the Blue Jackets who aren't doing so good. 8-14 on the year. Can we keep the winning streak alive? No goals in the first period. Second period, we take the lead 2-1 on goals by Shane Wright and Nils Hoglander. All right. And, oh, my God, Bouchard again. My goodness, Bouchard. Paquette and Klim Kostin with three seconds remaining scores on an empty net. All right, so, I mean, this just looks like Deloria is injured with the next strain. That sucks. That means that they're going to lose their plus five. Who do we have on the bench? We have Spachek and Bodin. I'll, I'd rather put a two-way forward in there. And Paquette, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll put them like that. They'll lose their plus five. but And see, they're, they lose their plus five, but this guy doesn't, ha doesn't have an X on him. <laughs> Just because he's not a grinder. Okay, he's, he's doing better. Ten goals. He's 11 points. I'm assuming once his overall goes up, uh, the production here, and I'd like to get like maybe an elite power forward instead of two top six forwards. An elite power forward would, would help me out here immensely. All right, so we keep going. When it means we keep going against St. Louis. Two to one. Oh my God, that's gonna be that's gonna be confusing. But right and Hoglander on is that Henrik Lundqvist <laughs> still in the net here for the Blues? My goodness, he hasn't retired at all. Uh, he must be like forty something now in 2024. All right, so two to one still after the second, and it finishes two to one. Goals by Wright and Hoglander. So 16-7-1 up against 16-7-1 New Jersey Devils. We're first. We're behind the Maple Leafs. My goodness, our division is good. Sabres, 12, well, yeah, I guess. 26 points. 20, yeah, I mean, our division is, is, yeah. Our division is really strong. The Predators only have 12 points. <laughs> Uh, he's here with a power play goal on Markstrom. Is this going to be our, our first loss? He's here again, who just recently... Oh, my goodness, we tie it up. That's unreal. He's here, who just got named captain of the New Jersey Devils here. Scores two, but then we come back. And, my goodness, we come back with a vengeance. Three goals in quick math. That's about two minutes. And... 25 seconds, 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Perfetti, Sanford, and Lazarev all score on Devin Dubnik, former Vezina winner, uh, to nod this game up at 4 apiece. And in overtime, it solves nothing. The shootout, Heeshear scores the winner in the shootout. So we finally lose one there in the shootout. So what it looks like here is just, it, 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 it's looking like a... a I say I use that expression so much. <laughs> a scoring by committee type of thing here. My goodness. Nobody's a point per game or even close, but 
20 points, 20 points, 18, 17, 15 for Bouchard, which is incredible. Uh, right. Right is getting hot at the right time. Right is getting hot at the right time. <laughs> Four goals, 10 assists for 14 points in 20 games. velardi has been a good pickup. velardi has been good. Costin and Pajarvi and Perfetti are all minuses. Pariko on that first line is a plus 14. Here's what I don't get. How can Ulf Hedman have one assist and be a minus four and his line mate, Evan Bouchard, is has 15 points and is a plus two? That is confusing. That is confusing to me. That is very confusing. Edit lines. Are they still together? <laughs> Did somebody switch them? Is that why? No, they're still together. Hmm, that's weird. I mean, I know he's a defensive defenseman, but come on, man. I think I <laughs> I think I would have gotten like three assists by now. My goodness. All right, so let's simulate. Uh, let's simulate up to a game against Florida, a division rival. Oh, let's keep let's keep our winning ways going here. Let's get the offense in there. Draft class, do we have any updates on that one? Thompson, no, not a lot of updates down here. All right, so Arizona, Delorier is available to play. He will take Bodin's place. Yeah, that's an 8-5 win. My goodness. The offense is really clicking. Or it was, oh... Ivan Lazarev is injured. Hate when that happens. Piarvi. Piarvi, Wright, and Sanford. Costin, Perfetti, Grunstrom. Baudet can go on that third line with Hoglander and Villardi. And Paquette, Hathaway, Delorie. And on defense here, we have Sergachev, Pareko again, Hedman, and Bouchard. I, oh my goodness, he's. He had like a goal and two assists in the last two games. Or no, two goals and an assist. He's firing up. He's firing up. All right. Uh, just going to check the AHL real quick now that I'm here. How is he doing? Engren, he's doing pretty good. Uh, he could be a potential fix there. Not a fix, but I mean like my... I feel like... I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't have a top six power forward. I'd like to have like a real, a real elite power forward. It's going to be tough to get though. All right, Edmonton, 6-1 win. Detroit, ah, oh, 5-3 loss against Detroit. The Kings. Barbashev and the Kings. Oh, we beat them. We lose to the Sabres, though. Now, Klim Kostin gets injured. And I think it's just for a couple of days, so that's frustrating. Wright is already up to... Is that 83? Nice. Yeah, let's do that. And let's do... Let's do that. Looks good. Right is already up. That's I just said that, but I'm still impressed by it. Uh, all right, Philly, 5-3 win. We get 20 wins on the season. Multiple players on Moncton are now legible. Perfect. That's our basically our whole team back. So Costin and Lazarev are back. If Lazarev wouldn't get injured so much, he'd, he'd be a serious Rocket Richard contender. I, I hope he can stay healthy for a full season show us what he's really capable of because he hasn't been done that for his whole career. 14 goals, 7 assists in 27 games. With right, Sanford's leading the, the line in scoring here. All right, everybody's starting to get pl uh, positive plus minus there, so that's that's good. Toronto. We lose to Toronto in a shootout. 
New York, Nashville. Oh my goodness, seven, twenty-four and four. And now he gets injured. Sanford gets injured. Is there anybody I can put on that line who's going to work? Let's try that for now. Let's try that for now. Um, all right, keep it going. Nashville. Yeah, we beat, oh, 1-0 in a shootout. That's not good for the stats. Beat Ottawa. <laughs> I mean, a win's a win, but... Uh... Oh, my goodness, that's a deadly win against the, the Canes. We're good against the Hurricanes, my goodness. A win against Chicago. Uh, Kiefer Bellows. Uh, no, no, I'd rather not. Pajarvi now is injured. Injured knee. I hate when it's those type of injuries because I know I'm going to screw up my whole lines and he's going to be back in like literally a week. All right, let's run that for now. Oh, no. Let's run that for now. Pittsburgh. 3 2 win there in Pittsburgh. Vegas. Oh, he gets shut out by Vegas. See, Payarvi's back already. Oh, that frustrates me to no end when that happens. I don't know why that gets under my skin so much, but I just I can't deal with it. All right. So Vancouver, a loss there in Vancouver. Sanford's back, so we get the plus five again. Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah. I mean, shouldn't the computer notice that we're getting a plus five and put the Laurier there? I mean, it would only make a bit of sense there. Okay, Headman Headman's up to an eighty four, so that's awesome. He's going to be a defensive defenseman of the future to get here on the team. Um, anybody else? No. All right, so let's real-time sim this game against the Florida Panthers, a division rival. It's a big game. And we come out to the early lead. Shane Wright again. My goodness. Zach Sanford. And come on, oh, they tie it up. Tyler Ennis, are you kidding me? Tyler Ennis is going to be the one to tie this up. Overtime solves nothing. And we beat them in the shootout. Good job. Clem Costin in the shootout. Perfect. All right. Uh, we are kind of on autopilot here. I kind of feel bad. But um, before I send to the trade deadline, I'm just going to back out real quick. I'm going to check the points. So Sanford's leading the team here. 34 points in 35 games. Lazarev has been doing good. 142 shots on goal. He's got 18 goals. Sergachev is 30 points. Wright is doing good. Perfetti. Uh, Perfetti. Perfetti and Costin. Perfetti and Costin are doing good. Where is Pajarvi? Okay, so Pajarvi's all the way down there. Pajarvi's all the way down there. Is anybody else here? Like, I mean, Vaudin has almost as much point per game as Pajarvi. That's alarming. Philippe Myers, De Devontae's, Pareko, I mean, but he's that's his role. Paquette and the grind line, plus 12. He's got 20 points, too. All right. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing that the, 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 the weakness of this team is on line two. And, I mean, that might be because of Bayarvi. <laughs> that might be because of Bayarvi. Joachim Ryan, no. 
Colorado. It's a big win there in Colorado. Oh. See, that's what really pisses me off. It's back spasms. He's going to be back in like two days. 5-2 win there against the Ducks. 5-3. The offense is clean. Oh, I thought we were going to get to 30 wins there. Draft class. Do we know anything new about the draft class? No. Oh, well, yeah. This guy looks good. This guy looks good also. Says he's a sniper, but he's got two goals and 16 assists. Yeah. I'd say this guy's got better stats. Bouchard available to play again. Perfect. Bouchard can slide back in there with Ulf Hedman. Oh, I pressed the... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Delorier plus five. All right, Washington, let's get the win here. Let's get the big dub. Yeah, there it is, 30 wins on the season. We're leading. We, we just passed the Maple Leafs. They want to give us Barbashev back and Kopitar for walls in a second. Uh, Montreal, a 4-3 shootout win, a 3-1 win in Winnipeg. All right, this is good. This is good stuff. Oh. April 11th, come on. Oh, that is just terrible. That is just terrible. I'll put Sergachev there. That is, oh my goodness. That's what I'll do. I'll put Nielsen with Bouchard, Sergachev and Hedman, Taze Myers. That's going to be probably for the rest of the season because, oh my gosh, Shane Wright's already in 85. Shane Wright has gone up to an 85 overall. That is awesome. So we're seeing some good progress here. All right, let's keep going. Tampa Bay, 6-5 win against Tampa Bay. That's a win against Minnesota. I saw their loss counter go up by one. Boston, six to two. My goodness, we are we are hot, ladies and gentlemen. Five three win against Dallas. Three one win against Columbus. When was last time? I'm not gonna say it. Oh, <laughs> just because I thought about it, I was gonna say when was the last time we lost a game, but then we lost. So, 37, 38. Can we get 40 wins before the trade deadline? Walls and a second for Taze. A fourth and a fifth. No. Edmonton. Can we beat Edmonton? 3-2 shootout loss. That's a point, at least. Oh, Fedman. Now he's gone for a long time. We just can't have nice things. <laughs> we can't have nice things. Uh, who do we put on the first line? He doesn't fit. He doesn't fit. Does somebody fit on the first line? We'll have to call up somebody. Who do we call up? Who do we call up? Defenseman has to be a defense. Vanda Sample, you know what? Caden Gooley, <laughs> come up here. We'll give the kids some ice time here. I might even put him. Is he going to fit on the first line if I put him there? If I put him there. Oh yeah, he kind of fits on the first line. Let's put him there, I guess. Bouchard and Nielsen can go back up there. Myers and Taze and Sergachev and Gouli. Sergachev and Gouli. Might as well give the kids some nice time. Let them develop. Hathaway. Hoglander. I hate that I have to do this every time. Delorier, who's going down. So we might need a new, a new grinder there for Delorier because he's at the age of regression now. 
Grattan's finally going up here in overall, 73. And Engren, Vanna Sample McCoshin. All right, everybody here is playing. What about Applebee's going up? Applebee's at 77. He'll be ready for the show next year. Uh, okay, 5-0 loss to the Kings. Can we get 40? Come on, 40 right there. Perfect. All right, so let's simulate that. Let's real-time simulate this game in Philadelphia. And then we will check out all the stats. So first period, oh, they come out to a 2-0 lead with Ovechkin <laughs> with the Philadelphia Flyers. All right, Hathaway uh, gets us to within one. Power play here for Moncton, 5-on-4. Oh, there it is, Lazarev, right at the end of that power play. Come on, kill that, perfect. Okay, so with 410, we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna jump in here, and we are going to be the coach. Let's see if the Moncton Navigators can earn this win against the Flyers for their 41st win of the season before the trade deadline. I think we have a real shot at the cup this year. I think we do. So here we go, Couturier. A oh, nice poke check, poke check. So this is the grind line, I believe, <laughs> on the ice. Is it? I think I saw Paquette. Paquette, yeah, that looks like Paquette. I wish I knew all the numbers. That is, who's that? Delorier? I can't see names. Oveshkin gets the puck. Hathaway, that's Hathaway. So 14 must be Delorier, who just got crushed. Couturier. Come on, get a face off or something so I can put. Why do they? Well, I mean, I guess they're plus five chemistry, so that's what they do. Did we get. Oh, I thought I was hoping that, that was a. Already 50 seconds left here. <laughs> My goodness, that, that went by fast. Paquette. Put the first line out there. Put the first line out there. Is that Sanford? My goodness, if Paquette scores. Oh! Oh my goodness! With 32 seconds left, Zach Sanford scores. Carter Hart is frustrated, and Zach Sanford has given the lead to the Navigators here. With about 40 seconds left, <laughs> Zach Sanford, part of the ground line. That's confirmed. All right, so let's just try to shut it down here, shall we? Right, Sanford and Lazarev. Sanford from Hathaway and Paquette. They dump it in. I kind of want so Nyquist gets it back. Gustav Nyquist, they're probably pulling the goalie here, yeah. They are. Oh my, what a save by Markstrom. Oh, he robs him to keep the lead. Net empty. You got the first line out there. Win this face off. Nope. Oh my goodness, Markstrom. Markstrom, we need to win this one. This is no joke, right? We need this one. Come on, right? What's your face off rating? Like 24? Come on, Lazarev, ice it. What was that? What was that? He's playing dump and chase. What was that? And. That's all right because Markstrom makes the save. The Navigators have won their 41st game of the season. And we finish, or we're at the trade deadline now. So as you know, that's this is going to be like the end of the video here. We're just going to check out the stats and all that. So we're 41, 16, and 5. Let's check out the stats real quick. So Lazarev has emerged as the new point leader here in Moncton with 53 points in 58 games. Sanford is right behind him with 49 points. 
Sergachev is a plus 31 on that line with 46 points in 62 games. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Wright has 42 points in his rookie year. And not far behind him is Perfetti, who's taken a step back in his second year here. Is this second or third? I think it's... Uh, sorry, his third year in the NHL. He's taken a step back, but that might be the line combination. Uh, Klim Kostin. That's good. Grunstrom. Bouchard is 33 points. That's a good for that's good for a second line D-man. Hoglander is 32. Paquette, uh, Payarvi, Velarde, Hathaway, Hedman, Delorier, Pareko, Taze. Pareko on uh, Sergeyev's line is 12, but he's he's gone for now. Hayden Gooley is zero points in three games. Um, so those are the stats at the trade deadline here, and let's see. Let's take a look here at the standings. So we are in first place up on the Penguins. First place in the NHL. Goals four could be better. Actually, we are what? Like top 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're actually 12th in the league in goals four per game. That could get a lot better. And goals against per game. Oh my goodness, Columbus. Torts, what are you doing? They got a franchise defensive defenseman there, and they're giving up almost four goals a game. See, that's our strong point. We're giving up 2.5 goals against per game. Um, so we're really good defensively. I think we've always been really good defensively, to be quite honest with you. But um, so that's that's our strong point. Defense, defense wins championships. We have the second worst power play in the league. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, I am seeing that right. We have the second worst power play. And we have a decent PK. I don't think it's that good. So thank God for Markstrom, really. Because, yeah, our PK is pretty average. If not even that. So that's... I didn't expect that with the record that we had. But we need to score more, and our uh, special teams need some work. Our special teams needs work. And if we're identifying problems here, I thought the third line would be my problem going into the season, but it clearly hasn't been the third line. Uh, for me, the, the most underperforming line is definitely line number two, Perfetti, Costin, and Payarvi. And I think that that's partly because of Payarvi. <laughs> I don't want to pick on somebody here, but if I have to pick on somebody, it would be Payarvi. He doesn't fit uh, on that second line. Actually, if you go look at him, if you go look at him, he does not fit whatsoever. Uh, Perfetti has two green check marks. Costin fits very well, but he doesn't fit at all, Payarvi. I'm thinking maybe get an upgrade for Payarvi because we are definitely a playoff team. We are first in the league. If we can get an upgrade for Payarvi on the on the wing here, or maybe even not trade Payarvi, but trade some pieces and demote Pay. Oh no, he, no, actually he can't go on the third line. He's terrible on the third line. My goodness, yeah, he's awful on the third line. I think we'll have to part ways with Payarvi then. Uh, we might have to. Um, I thought the third line was going to be the problem, but apparently these guys heard what I was saying, and, you know, they're good plus players, and they're almost half a point per game. Especially Hoglander is doing really good. Hoglander is doing good. And the grind line, I mean, do I really want to part ways with Delorier, who's assistant captain? I think not, but I think after this year, I'll have to use somebody else. Uh... Sergachev, Gouli, Nielsen, Bouchard, Taze, Myers, I think. I mean, can we keep them? Can we keep Nielsen after this? I mean, we have to put Hedman in there, right? And 
for somebody who at the start of the year was thinking of trading Jacob Marks for him, I really can't. Uh, definitely, definitely not a good idea. We'll keep him. We might even extend him past this year. We'll give him an, a, like a one or two year contract after this. He's still an 88 overall, still performing. 914 save percentage is not ridiculously good, but I mean, it's not bad. And we give up the least goals in the NHL, so that might be attributed to the defense, but uh, Markstrom definitely, <laughs> I think it would be ridiculous to trade our, our goaltender if we're the best defense in the league. Um, so that definitely can't happen. Uh, really, I think the move here, and I don't know if, if you'll agree with me, but I think the move would be to get an upgrade for Payarvi on the second line. Maybe somebody around that 87 overall range who can come in and uh, be a nuisance, a complete nuisance on that second line and produce more than this. And that'll help Perfetti and Costin in their development. Um, so I'm going to do things a bit differently than I usually do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off screen before I uh, finish the video and I'll give you guys maybe a couple of trade ideas. Uh, that we could potentially pursue uh, at the trade deadline and uh, we can I mean you guys can give me your opinion on that after you finish watching the video so I'm gonna go off screen for a bit I'm gonna try to find some trade ideas and then I'll come back and uh, I'll show you my ideas alright so um, honestly who uh, this is my trade idea here. Uh, I'm kind of sold on it already, but uh, you let me know if it's a good idea. But Payarvi in a first to the Philadelphia Flyers, who are a seller, for Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, I need some more goal scoring on that second line, and who better to get that second line going than literally the best goal scorer of all time. He's got 902 goals. I believe that's more than Wayne Gretzky at this point in time. He's 38. His potential's dropping. He's 90 overall still. This is a playoff push move, and I really think that this would benefit the team in the long run. Um, I'll think about it, and I might pull it off at the deadline, but that's that's the trade. I think that's the trade, boys. I think that's what we need. Um, so uh, next episode, episode number 16, I believe, will be the trade deadline. This has been episode number 15 with East Coast Gaming. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. The Navigators, ladies and gentlemen, are looking for a President's Trophy and a Stanley Cup to put in a brand new trophy case <laughs> that only has Cole Perfetti's Calder Trophy as of now. So, uh, Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. Comment. Uh, I re really like your opinion on that PRV and a first for Ovechkin. And... Uh, yeah, that's it until episode 16, which will be the trade deadline. This is East Coast Gaming signing out.